Yeah, baby, it's Power 105.1, New York's hip hop and R&B. Honey German. DJ Suss won the feature presentation, Mr. Swagged Out. What, what else cocky could I say on the mic? Uh, please don't say anything else <laughs> or the word cocky. You are live inside the 212 Come Up show. It goes yes. down every single Sunday night. AT&T and United Masters are yes. letting us do this for our city. Yep. And um, we're looking for the next hip-hop icon. We're trying to get them 25 racks, you know, if they... If they succeed and get to the um, the, are we calling it the finals? I don't know what we're calling it. Listen, we're just searching for somebody, the hottest New York independent hip hop artist. We are gonna give you twenty five racks. Mm -hmm. We are gonna give you an exclusive distribution deal with United Masters. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make DJ Sus one your personal DJ for your whole tour. Mm. About oh, that, you, you adding you adding, you adding <laughs> Sus on the stage. And you know, every single Sunday we bring up um, we bring up an artist. We like to give you guys an opportunity to come up here and, and connect with the audience. And tonight we have Lil Tega in the building. Gang. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Lil you were Tekka. so relaxed for you to come out gang. I was like, yeah. wow. What's up, I'm boy? Just, I'm just chilling out here. Where are you from? I'm from Queens. Born, Born and raised? Yeah. What part? Springfield. Nice. But I moved to Long Island in like seventh grade. Where in Long Island? I'm from Long Island. Like, Sometimes. Five, like the Five Towns area. Okay. Wow, like, I went to Five Towns College. Where? It's by like, Dix Hills. Exit 49 um, off the um, LIE. We're already connecting. I don't, I don't, even, I don't, I don't be even. leaving my house like that, so I don't know. Like, the you don't area. be leaving your house like that? <laughs> nah. Oh, I, I know what type of artist you are. We're yeah, going to get into yeah, that just, tonight. Yep, I just stay home. I just be doing me. All right, cool. So what made you want to get into the game? I started rapping because of Xbox. Like, really? Yeah. Like, my first, like, one of my first friends on Xbox, we was just chilling, and we, we used to always roast each other. So I was like, nah, I'm about to make a song on you. And then, <laughs> Damn, that's yeah, how it started. <laughs> yeah, my, my, I'm going to roast you, roast yeah. you. Yeah. My first song was a diss track to my friend. Are you serious? Yeah. Who Get won? out. Me, of course. Oh, okay. Obviously. <laughs> Did you upload it anywhere? Yeah. Where? SoundCloud. I figured it was, it was on like, SoundCloud. Is it still it was, there? Can I still no. listen to it? It's like it was like seven years ago. Oh, here you go. Yeah, now you deleted it. I deleted it. all of that. <laughs> all right, so you look real young. So seven years ago, you were real, real young. Yeah. What kind of... How old were you seven years ago? Like eight. Get out of here. So nah, you was... Nah, I was nine. I was you nine. You were nine. Yeah. So you were born to do this. This is pretty much what you feel? Nah, I used to play basketball. Okay. Yeah, I used to play basketball. I was... When I was in seventh grade, I was like, I ain't going to the NBA, so I just cut that. What and kind of battle around. lines did you have in that record towards your friend? I'm just we curious. We were just talking about how At that age. Because he got a weird shaped head, so I was just like. <laughs> you know the, the disses was, you used to yeah, get? I, I thought just, you were say, you know about weird shaped heads. Yeah, I said his, <laughs> I was just talking about his head shape and stuff. That's it. Really. It that was, was like, the whole battle? Yeah, it was like one minute. Uh, <laughs> it was like one minute. It was done. And now here we are. It's 2019. Yes. What are you doing right now? Right now? I'm just doing the same thing I used to do, just listening to music, because I know what good music sounds like. Yeah. So I just go to the studio and try to make it. Now, let me ask you a question. Uh, do, you, do you feel like young artists like you are being targeted, are being picked on, and aren't being as appreciated or respected as, let's say, an older artist? Nah, I think the kids that are making music in our age range, they're making themselves the targets. They like, are. They're going on social media, they're doing things because they think it's cool. You feel me? And it's like... It's not really like doing certain things, being the type of person that they're not really raised to be. Yeah. So they go on social media, hide behind phones, and old people don't like that. It's just like be so yourself. So you feel like there should be a level of respect towards elders? I mean, you don't you don't gotta respect no one that you don't wanna respect. This is okay. like be yourself. Yeah, but being yourself is like Takashi Six Nine being himself and look what it got him. Not but it's like he it's like active. that. It's like it's like this. People see the things that people like Takashi do. And they try to do that when Takashi's being him, but you're trying to be Takashi. You know what I mean? So people see that and they think it's goofy. And that's why people make themselves a target because you're not being yourself. Like, just stay in your own lane. Now, who do you feel like is, is leading the way for the young rappers right the young now? Rappers, Lil Uzi, Juice World, A Boogie. Lil Pump? Lil Pump, nah. Nah? Nah. You're not a Lil Pump fan? I'm a little pump fan, but I don't think he's a leader. Okay. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Do you listen to any music from the early 2000s and the 90s? Any influence from that era whatsoever? Mm, I used to listen to a lot of Eminem and Lil Wayne. Nice. That was like the first hip hop that I got into. And then the second hip hop I got into was like Meek Mill. I used to listen to a lot of Meek Mill. And then it was Chief Keef. And then that's where I got like my melodies from. And Speaker Knockers to this day, RP Speaker Knockers. But. That's like my favorite artist from all time. Do you ever feel the pressure to have to study hip hop or all the greats that came before you in case you come to interviews like this and, and, and you get either question or presses? Do you care about that or you just care about the music you're putting out? 
Yeah, I just I just care about the music I'm putting out. I yeah. just try to stay in my own lane. I feel like the youth should be, and this is my opinion, I always felt like the youth, and I'm not one of the guys that attack the youth, but I always feel uh-huh. like if you're going to be in the game, you should know why you're capable of being in the game and what That's the history fact. is and be a student of it. Mm-hmm. So do you ever feel like you want to go back and just study? Of course, of course. Okay. I would love to learn the roots, but it's not something that I'm... Pressed about? Yeah, pressed about. Pressure to like learn about but I'm interested in learning about it. You feel me? So what's the plans for the career right now? You got mixtape? Yeah, we got Dumb Amount. How much mute songs you got unreleased that we kind of say? Yeah, like 81. 81 joints? Yeah. All dolo or yeah. features or features, what Features, unreleased. It's just 81 combined. So, How long have you been in the studio? Um, I've been in the studio for like nine months. Nine months straight? Yeah. How do you balance that with school? With school, I go to, I do music on the weekends, honestly. You do music on the weekends? Yeah. Okay. So you go to a regular high school? Yeah. Do they know you're kind of like a big deal in high school yeah. or you're just good yeah. buddy yeah i just be chilling in school you just people be know i do music but it's not really like a crazy big thing mm-hmm. when i drop a song people say oh yeah i like your song but it ain't nothing like crazy so you're not like a local celeb yet um i mean people could say that but i don't really like to look at it as that i just i just drop music you what know the young artist the young artist is just like I'm just chilling. I'm yeah. just chilling. This ain't a big deal. Until yeah. they hear you on the 212 Come Up Show on Power 1051. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a different feel <laughs> when you go back to school on Monday. Facts. And no you cap. go over to Instagram. Now, let me ask you a question. Are your parents both from New York? My parents from Jamaica. They're from Jamaica. Yeah. Okay. And they migrated to New York? Yep. Were they hip hop heads at any point or they just kind of stood with the island vibes? Dad. Oh, he's here. Oh. Used to be a singer. Used to yeah, be a my, singer. And yeah, my dad used to sing. Nice. Okay. So you kind of like inherited it from dad? Yeah, but not on purpose though, because I never. Well, it's in to... your genes and your DNA. Yeah, he said but not like, on purpose. Like still, you didn't I give never it to heard him. him. I never like heard any of his songs though. But it's just like it's ingrained it in like, you. It happened on some like meant to be type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Have you heard his songs now? Nah, still haven't heard them. Really? Would never. you let your father get on one of your joints? Yeah, I let him do the ad libs. Uh, the ad yeah. libs. <laughs> He's a singer. He can't do the hook. Let For real, the... let him do the whole entire hook. <laughs> yep. All right. What's the name of the single you're pushing? Right now, we pushing a track called Molly Girl. Molly Girl? Yep. Okay. It was number one on SoundCloud for like four days straight. Amazing. Congratulations. All countries, all music genres. And that's the joint we're going to play tonight? Yep. All right, let's get it. Let's play it right now. Introduce it. Hey, y'all ready for Molly Girl by Lil Tecca? Turn up. Let's get it. All right, it's the 212 Come Up Show, DJ Sus1. Honey German, and this goes down every single Sunday night, 10 o'clock at night through midnight. We putting it on for our city. Lil Tecca, let's get to this joint right here. I want to see what you got.